millions of Muslims have left Islam only to live a life of rejection, ostracization and sometimes even the fear of death. Both Abdul Al Masood and Ayub Ali Sharma had to flee their homes. Abdul Al Masood, who is a Bangladeshi citizen now, hides in India, while Ayub Ali Sharma, who is a resident of Bangoi Gaon district in Assam, lives in Gauhati, far away from his village. They narrate the atrocities that they went through after they left Islam. At that time, I faced a lot of death threat in my social media platform, especially in my uh, Facebook ID's inbox. And that time, I I know about Bangladesh situation, Bangladesh the Bangladesh situation, because a lot of blogger and uh, ex-Muslim killed in Bangladesh uh, in the year 2013, 2015, and 2016, 17 also. A lot of killing uh, was happened in Bangladesh. So that time I uh, thought uh, maybe Bangladesh is not safe uh, for me, and I have to survive myself. और सब लोग हमारा गांव का सब लोग एक साथ बट कर हम लोगों का समझ से निकाल दिए समझ से निकाल कर दिया बैकट कर दिया आ, मेरा आ, मे, मे, मेरे को बारे में ए, एक हुजूर उधर का जो बहुत हुजूर है बहुत हुजूर है बैठ कर एक सिद्धांत तो लिया इस्लाम में यही एक बात है जो इस्लाम छोड़ देगा इस्लाम तय करेगा उसको कत्ल करो उसको ये हत्या करो ये फर्श है जो इस्लाम तय करेगा उसको हत्या करना मारना फर्ज है तो वो फतवा भी मेरे लिए दे दिया देखिए जो इस्लाम बहलता है शांति हो वो इस्लाम में वो इस्लाम की हदीस में लिखा है जे तुम इस्लाम छोड़ देगा तो तुमको कत्ल करेगा तो मेरे को मेरे मेरे को बारे में वो उस मौलवी मुल्ला मुफ्ती ने वो फतवा जारी किया जे आयु वाली को खून करो आयु वाली शर्मा को खून करो मैं तीन साल तक मेरा घर नहीं जा सकता अभी तक तो, आज की डेट में सात साल पार हो गया आ, हमारा जो आ, आ, हम, हम लोगों का जो समझ है समझ से हम लोगों को निकाल दिया डिस्पाइट बींग ग्लोबल मूवमेंट इन्वॉल्विंग मिलियंस ऑफ मुस्लिम इन इस्लाम स्टिल स्ट्रगल्स टू फाइंड स्पेस इन मेन स्ट्रीम डिस्कोर्स For in Islamic law, it is a crime to renounce Islam, and it mandates death penalty to apostates. So apostates rather choose to hide their views for their protection. Though the movement has picked up momentum in the Western countries, ex-Muslims in the other part of the world hide their identities to protect themselves from getting killed by their fellow citizens. Salman Taseer, a governor of Pakistan's Punjab province. was assassinated for speaking out against the blasphemy law by his own security guard Abdul Al Masood says that the condition of ex-muslims is not better in India either for muslim extremists have sway in India also and they kill at will while hindus maintain safe distance from ex-muslims he referred to the recent cases of the persecution of two ex muslims in kerala but in india some politician and some also intellectuals some politician and some intellectuals they eager to uh, they eager to earn muslim vote maybe they eager to earn muslim vote or support and for uh, getting support and votes from muslim they always try to uh, try to support extremist muslim group and when an ex muslim you know anis and uh, aksar ali askar ali from south india is on i am hiding my identity in india also wherever i live or i am living now in in uh, the area i am not a muslim majority i am not living in muslim majority area this is hindu majority area with no support from the government and the media mufti abdul al masood lives a life in self imposed solitary confinement in india all of my neighbor they don't know about about me they, who is this person maybe he is a hindu i mean they think maybe he is a hindu person if i if they find out me i am a muslim i am a ex muslim they cannot understand i think uh, indian hindu people they cannot understand ex muslim 
or they are not uh, familiar with ex-Muslim people or ex-Muslim person because Indian media is not supporting ex-Muslim people, is not uh, uh, promoting ex-Muslim people, and always they are silent about ex-Muslim people and ex-Muslim activities. But he says that the narrative around persecution of Muslims by Hindu majority, often peddled by the Western media, is nothing short of a blatant lie. Because uh, in Bangladesh, in Bangladesh, Hindu people, Christian people, and uh, Buddhist people, and non, uh, all non-Muslim people and ex-Muslim people are very danger. They are in very danger. Huh. And this is a, a in every day, every day or every week, uh, some Muslim people they used to attack non-Muslim people. They used to attack Hindu people and their home, their uh, temples, their uh, business office, and their uh, area. Hmm. And also in uh, Christian people, Buddhist people also face the same. So in Bangladesh and in India, minor, minorities' condition is not same, I think. And India, Muslim people always uh, get threat or uh, or uh, yeah, threat or yeah, violence from non-Muslim uh, Hindu people uh, in India. This is not, I think, this is not uh, true. This is not true. Ali Rizvi is an ex-Muslim author that says that it is high time ex-Muslims are given social importance. Now, why is it that when white Europeans did this in, in Christian Europe, we called it the Enlightenment and it formed the basis of the democratic, secular, pluralistic societies that we live in today? But now when young Muslims are doing this across the Muslim world and the Arab world and the Middle East, we call it Islamophobia? Is it that we consider Muslims to be immune from the values of secularism and freedom and free thought? We've normalized other people who leave their religions. It's time to normalize when young Muslims leave their religion and they, they choose reason and enlightenment over superstition and dogma. If you are a closet atheist, agnostic, or freethinker um, from the Muslim world, know that you can be awesome without Allah.